Hey guys, so I'm going to show you my Briarfest 2016 haul. And before we begin, I just want to say that I had a blast at Briarfest this year. I stayed with one of my friends and we literally shopped till we dropped while we were there. It was so much fun. And um, I didn't go to any of the meets, like I didn't go to the Instagram or the YouTube meet because I wasn't feeling very well most of the trip. I had a lot of lower back pain and at one point it got so bad to where I couldn't even hardly stand up and I had to go back to the room and rest. So that was the only down part about my trip because no one likes to feel sick or in pain, especially while on vacation. But other than that, it was amazing and I hope I get to go back next year. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so to start off, I have the Celebration Horse. And I know a lot of people were saying that he's really narrow, as you can see. But that doesn't really bother me. He is really, really pretty in my opinion. Um, I have one, this is the one I took out of the box, I have one in, inside the box. And the one I took out has more subtle dappling, which I wanted. So I might add him to my showstring. And there's his face. He's I love his little specks on his nose and around his mouth. It's really cute. But um, yeah, that is the Celebration model in Pirador. If I said that right, I'm sorry if I didn't. <laughs> so yeah, I will now show you all of the horses that I got at the park. So the first model that I got at the park was one of the store specials and it is Diablo DC. And I found one that had really settled dappling that was what I was aiming for because I saw a lot of him that didn't have the best dappling but um luckily I found one that had pretty nice dappling and he has a very pretty face there he is so yeah that is him and I will move on to the next horse now so the next horse I got was Versailles, and I got her in the Briar store as well. And I think she was 65 in there, which I was so happy to find her in there because I regretted not getting her last year. And everywhere I saw her, she was around $100 and up, and I didn't want to pay that much for her, but luckily I was able to find this gorgeous girl. She's so pretty, I love her to death. She's my first in the mold. You can see her pretty face. She's got a nice dappling. <clears throat> so that is her. I'll move on to the next one. So the next horse I purchased in the store was Chanel, and I think she was $65 as well. And I'm so happy they had some of her left over from last year because I regretted not getting her last year because this girl is just absolutely beautiful. She is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I wasn't sure about the mold when it first came out, but now that I have one in this mold, I love it so much. She is so adorable. But yeah, this is Chanel. I'm so happy that I found her for a good price in the Briar store. So the next one I got at the park was Sheila, and I picked her up on my first special room line time, and I love this girl to bits. She is so pretty. I love her coloring. I got one that um, has a little bit darker shading than some of the ones I've seen, so I'm happy about that. Um, her markings are pretty crisp. So all in all, I am very, very satisfied with this girl. So yeah, that's Sheila. The next special run I got along with Sheila was Bozeman. And this guy is just gorgeous. I love him so, so much. He was my favorite. And I still think he is my favorite special run from this year. Very, very pretty boy. And luckily mine didn't come with 
a warped leg like a lot of the ones I've seen. You can see his face up there. Very nice boy. I'm very, very happy with him. So yeah, that's Bozeman. So the next special run that I picked up was Namid, and I got the matte Namid, and I love her so much more than what I thought I would. She is so flippin' cute, and her sassy little hair flip she's got going on up there. Yeah. I love this horse so much, even though she's just one solid color. She is beautiful, and I love, 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 love her, and I'm so happy that I decided to get her. So yeah, that is Namid. The next special ones I picked up were Mamacita y Chico, and I love these guys just as much as I love the other two. I love them a lot better than I did when I saw them in the pictures. They're a lot darker in person. Very, very beautiful pair. Let me show you a close up of them. So that is them, and I'm very excited to add them to my show string. So, yeah, that is Mamacita y Chico. So, my last special run that I picked up was the Samba Surprise and I got the Matte Dark Bay Pinto which I was really happy about because he was one of my favorites. I liked him and the Dun Pinto so I was happy that I ended up with one of them. It's a very pretty boy. So yeah, that is this guy and yeah, so now we will move on to the next ones. And one of my last purchases that I made at the park was from the pop-up tent and my mom actually bought me all of these. She bought the green one without me even knowing so he was a surprise and she bought me Chiquita and she is so adorable. I love her. She also got me Copacabana. Very nice boy. And she got this guy, I forgot his name, but he is the Translucent Classic. So yeah, that is those, and I am so, so thankful to my mother that she bought me these guys. Okay, so before I move on to my Clarion guys, I wanted to show you these. My friend got me these. She actually, um, had them her house and she brought them to our fest and gave them to me and I plan on customizing this one I don't know if I'm gonna customize him yet um, but I might so they'll be customizing projects or at least like practicing because I'm not that great at it yet but um yeah these are good horses to practice customizing on so those that's those Alright, so now moving on to my Clarion buys. I I think these two go together. I bought them separately. This was the first horse that I actually purchased there. And then this guy I got at the swap meet. And I've been on the lookout for these two for a while and I finally found them. And I'm very happy that I found this guy in great condition. He will be added to my show string. So yeah, that is those two. So the next stable mate I got was this girl. She is, I think, the horse that came with the calendar that Briar gave out one at one point. She's really pretty. I love this mold. I love paint, so I was really happy to find her. So yeah, that is her. Next guy I got, I got from the same lady that I got my previous stablemate from. He, uh, I'm not sure where he's from, but I actually have another one of him, but he's in body condition. And the other one that I have actually has more of a metallic uh, paint job to him when he has more of a matte. 
So it's pretty cool to see that there's different variations of them. Very pretty boy. So yeah, that is him. The next one I got, I also got from the same lady. He is, I think, a JC Penny special run. And he is a red roan on the running Mustang mold. He is gorgeous. I love this boy. Very, very nice. And he will be added to my show string, so... Whoops. That's not good. So yeah, that's him. Okay, so this next stable mate, my friend, actually gave to me for free. And her Instagram name is Collect the Briars, so go check her out on Instagram. And he is so pretty. I love him. He is in mint condition, no flaws on him. So yeah, that is that guy. Alright, so the next one I got was a Peter Stone chip, and I got him from the Clarion. And he's a little bit yellowed, but... I'm just going to put him in the sun and that should whiten his whites up. But yeah, he's gorgeous. I love him. So yeah, that's him. Next one I got was this guy. He is a paint horse and he is glossy. He's very pretty. His whites are also a little bit yellowed. So I have to put him in the sun. Very nice guy. And the last of the minis that I purchased at Briarfest was this beautiful boy. He is a Pentavian uh, Peter Stone chip. I got him in the swap meet. Very nice guy. I don't know if you can see his face. I don't know if it'll focus on it. No, it's not going to. But yeah, that's him. And he is, uh, he is one of my favorite buys from this year. So yep, that's him. Next I got all three of these dogs at the Clarion and the Golden Retriever was actually the very first buy that I made at Barifest this year. And then I got the Great Dane with the brindle pattern. He kind of looks like, like a tiger. He's got like a tiger kind of pattern. And then I got the tan colored one. I know that's not like the actual color they call it, but I forgot what the name of it was. But um, yeah, that makes three in my Great Dane collection because I have the black and white one. So that means I have all of the Great Danes now, which I'm super happy about because that's what I was aiming for. And yeah, so it's them. Next I got Isidore Cruz and I got her new in box for a great deal. I'm not going to say how much I paid for the ones I got at the Clarion, so yeah. Um, she is very very nice, I've been on the hunt for her for a very long time. And I was finally able to find her for a good deal. So yeah, and she makes nine in my Nakota Conga. Next, I got Smarty Jones new in box at the swap meet, and I got him for a really great deal. He has really nice shading. I love this boy. They did a very, very nice job on him. That is him, and he makes five in my Smarty Jones conga. My next buy was Joker, and I got him new in box at the swap meet, and he is signed by Tommy Turby, and he came with his button from Briarfest 2006, a shirt, a bracelet, a mini Briarfest um, catalog program thing, and a uh, 2005 Briar catalog. So yeah, he came with a lot of stuff and I got him for a really, really great deal. The only problem he has, he has a bit of yellowing on his shoulder right there because he was in his box for like 10 years because he was the 2006 Celebration Horse. 
But yeah, other than that, I love him to bits. I'm so happy to add him to my collection. The next models I purchased were Alida and Elidor. And I have been looking for these guys for a very long time, but I can never find them for a good deal. And I finally did one of the Clarion rooms, and they are in excellent condition. I don't see any rubs on them whatsoever. And they, they are just so adorable. They're my first unicorns that I've owned. Oops. They're very pretty, and Alida actually has a braid in her tail that I did not know about. Yes, that is those. And I am very happy to add them to my collection as well. Okay, so the next model that I got was Roxy. And she came with her box. She wasn't new in box, but um, the people had her box with her and bubble wrapped her and put her in her box. And she is flawless. She doesn't have any rubs from what I can find. And she is gorgeous. And I've been looking for her for a long time now for a decent price. And I got her for a way better price than what I could have ever asked for. So yeah, I am very, very happy to add her to my Roxy Conga. And what's a Roxy Conga without the original Roxy? So yeah, that is her. And last, but most definitely not least, my favorite purchase from Briarfest this year is Fontana. I have been wanting this girl for so long. I could never find her for a decent price. I finally did this year and I was super, super happy. And I still can't believe that I own this girl. She is so pretty. I love her coloring, her markings. Everything about this girl, I just love her. And I was on the hunt for the Blue Room Pinto CC Shuffle. And as long as I came home with either that one or Fontana, I would be happy. And I am just so happy. I still can't believe I own her. She's just the highlight of one of the highlights of my trip. So yeah, that is all that I got at Briarfest. I'm so thankful for everything that I got. And I'm just so thankful that I even get to go every year. And so yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see your haul video up as well. So, bye!